Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Are Muslims allowed to have lavish weddings, including a reception, or should we not imitate other religion or cultures? That question is misleading because you are supposing in that question that to have lavish weddings or reception is an imitation of different religions or different cultures. So don't try to trick us with your question. Number one, you think Islam doesn't have its own way of celebration, whether it's wedding or khatna, khitan, eh? men when they are circumcised, boys, or other things, or mevlut, let's talk about. Do you think Muslims don't know how to do this? Muslims are teaching the world how to do this. Muslim weddings, for example, it's not for one day, it's for three days, some for seven days. Mevlut is not for one day, it's for the whole month. Lavish. What's your idea of lavish? What do you understand from lavish? Yeah, people now, they only know how to judge. They have little pea brain and they're judging. And they're giving lecture to everyone. Muslims, they know how to celebrate, but they are not doing it in is for israf. Israf, it is forbidden. Wasting, it is forbidden. You are not making a three-day wedding to throw away food. It is to feed because in traditional societies too, people don't eat meat. They don't have enough to eat the whole year except for a couple of days of bayram and this and that. When there is a wedding, that is the time where they can actually celebrate and they eat. Muslim way, you have a wedding, you're going to feed people. Not just your friends or your relatives, you're going to make sure the poor people are being fed, the orphans they are being fed. But really, who is doing that these days too? Not really. Hmm? But there are some who are doing it, they're keeping quiet doing it. So, don't lump everyone to be together. Of course, now, when we look at a Muslim wedding, and now in this country, we don't have too much luxury to do it Islamic style. We don't have the luxury to do it more than one day, for instance. Huh? It's a free country, but it's a very expensive free country. Yeah? Correct? Or if you live in third world country, you want to have invite your whole village to eat, so easy. You say a couple of people, one, two, three, they set up tents, they put benches, everyone sitting down eating, you cut one bull, oh, everyone is enjoying it. Try to cut one bull today in New Jersey, in front of your apartment or in Long Island. Yeah, you think you can do that? You, you want to rent a tent? Oh, thousands of dollars now you have to rent. So now we are caught in this system, you, want to, you can still do it, but like I said, it's rough. Look at what is wasting and what isn't, do not waste. Then you're going to curb yourself, don't waste. Is it necessary now, because we say we have celebration, is it necessary now for weddings to be held in fancy hotels and this and that? If you ask me, it's not really that necessary. It depends on the station of the person there also. And it depends on how much that you are giving. One, one thing I can say, like they have a lot, I'm sorry, but Pakistani weddings again. Before they come in to have the real thing, they have, what is it called? Cocktail. Cocktail, cocktail reception. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. maybe we didn't know and we did it. Okay, that, leave that, we we'll close that chapter, okay? <laughs> but now that you know, balance it a little bit. What you do now, you enter and then you eat big shrimp. <laughs> You're eating all the appetizers first, right? Samosa standing up, eating. And eating, standing up. Then later, oh, it's going to start, you sit down. Shadi Madi happening. Then after that, you have another reception. 
and you have buffet, so much food goes to waste. Now tell me the food doesn't go to waste. Food goes to waste, right? So if you're able to do all of that without wasting, do it. If you're saying, I have to do this, but at the same time you're reaching out to feed poor people elsewhere, we cannot say too much to that time. Right? But in these days, to have a regular average wedding, say for, I say for what, how many people? Say 200 people. 200, say for 200 people. Simple wedding for 200 people. Anywhere in America now. What is the average renting? And I'm talking about a hall, okay? Not a hotel. A hall, or maybe like a cheap hotel, like Holiday Inn. We're not talking about... For 200 people, everything included. You think you're able to, in this country, to spend $500 doing it? Or $1,000 doing it? It's impossible. Just renting everything there is going to run you in the tens of thousands. Just renting, without putting in anything there. So, that's why, inshallah, we are trying to hurry to uh, build this darga that we can have weddings here in the darga. Uh, that we will not be spending too much money in that. We will not be making israf too much in that. Uh, but for people who want to spend a very lavish wedding and they are also giving so much money to charity and everything, we cannot say so much. Who are you to judge? Correct? But don't make israf. Israf means if there is a cheaper, <laughs> easier way to do it that is not going to be wasteful, then do it. More blessing comes that way. Okay? But there's so many strange practices now in Muslim weddings. Stop grinning at me. Yeah. That they're saying, why are they doing this? Uh, like very big, uh, popular now, <laughs> and I'm saying, <laughs> and I know certain people here, they are not going to be happy, me saying, but you didn't know that time, maybe you know now. <laughs> yeah. Then say, Shh, I'm, not in that I'm not responsible because I didn't know before. Now, everyone wants to have Mendy party, like it is a Bollywood movie, correct? <laughs> With dance items and everything. Okay, you want to have henna night. For women to gather to put henna. To, for women to be together, yeah, something. But why it has to be from a henna ceremony into a Bollywood party? Where, how we jump to that part now? I don't understand. Ah. Oh, very fancy. It's like a second wedding, right? Huh? More fun than wedding. You have dance items. <laughs> huh? Men and women now coming. Mendy party dance items, correct? <laughs> Not necessary. Not necessary. But if you want to do it, I'm not going to be there holding my cane to say, stop, don't do that. I have no power to do it. But if it's up to us in our situation, we say, oh, no, need. no need. But if the women they want to gather to put henna, which is also traditional, it's okay. Do everything in moderation. There are certain things that you do according to the station of the person now that you have to make that into a, an exhibition. You have to show the majesty and you have to show the haybat of that station, of that situation. Now, that time is not the same. Okay? The sultans, when they have weddings and they have to show the majesty of the sultanate and the majesty of Islam, you cannot say they're making israf because whenever sultans also they have weddings or they celebrate, first they give Thousands of dollars in charity, number one. First they do that. 
they feed the poor, they release the prisoners, so many kind acts they do, then they have, because they also know, they're smart. Certain things that we need to do, we have to cover it for Nazar not to enter. In these days, they only want to have a wedding like a Sultan, but they don't know what to do. So, well, as you like again. You can do as you like. Assalamu alaikum wa